Hello, beloveds, and happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, and welcome to your weekly love medicine. I am your host, Tanya Gonzalez, and I'm here to share and serve and shine with you, as well as guide you through some of, you know, life's, you know, uh, what should, can I say, trials and lessons. And so that's what love medicine is, is sell for your soul. So thank you so much for tuning in, whether you're watching live or to the replay. So love medicine really is all about self-love. You know, it took me years to understand what that meant. I thought, you know, getting my hair done, being good to myself meant, you know, having this and doing that. But what I really started to understand, what self-love was, is really about getting to know myself. And I couldn't have done that with all of the searching that I was doing. I was seeking, seeking, seeking instead of listening, listening, listening. And so this morning in conversation, I actually shared this with my daughter. There's four things, four things that are the top four of my self-love plan. And if you are wanting to create a self-love plan for yourself, I'll show you how to do that very, very soon on my online um, workshop and retreat. And so self-love, what that really is. So my top four is, first of all, a spiritual practice. I am nothing without my spiritual practice, and A Course in Miracles is my spiritual practice. It is my every day, it is my all day. For instance, today it says, my eyes, my tongue, my hands, my feet today have but one, one purpose, to be given vision. Here it says Christ, but I like to say vision. To use, to bless the world with miracles. You know, if that's my lesson for the day, to use my eyes, my hands, my tongue, my, my feet for my holy vision, then that allows me to be the woman I really want to be. That allows me to stay focused. And so spiritual practice is number one in self-love. Number two is do what it says. Do what it says. Don't just talk about it. Don't read about it. Don't intellectualize it. Don't think about it. Do what it says. Allow yourself to, again, then this is how you start to learn how to stay in your lane, is by cultivating practices that keep you focused on yourself and not on other people and not on drama and not on the news and not on the politics. It allows you to stay in your lane. And when you stay in your lane, you start to see yourself, your true self. Again, you become the woman you want to be. You become the person you want to be. And how that really starts to come through is with forgiveness. Forgiveness becomes the salve by which you allow yourself to discover yourself. Because for every place where you're not judging yourself, you get to be loving yourself. And when you're loving yourself, guess what? You get to discover more of yourself. Like, I had no idea I'm as creative as I am until I allowed myself to love myself. Because when I was judging myself, there was no time for me to see that I was creative. I was so busy judging myself and others and drinking and partying instead of allowing myself to look at myself. I was numbing myself out instead of turning myself within. So number three is, again, my self-love plan is to know myself and to allow myself to do that. So everyday yoga, everyday belly dancing, everyday Course in Miracles, everyday supporting, guiding, and you know, serving the world with you know, this mission and message. And then number four, listen. Listen, no matter what your spiritual practice is, no matter what it is, there is a divine light that is a higher power that is guiding you. So we are guided to listen, not do, but to listen. And so I'll leave you with this little tidbit too. And this is also from A Course in Miracles. It says, you correct your previous missteps by stepping forward. You can free yourself from the past as you go ahead and that's what we'll talk about next week because as we allow ourselves to move ahead to go forward what we're saying is you know what i know i made some mistakes but i am moving forward every time you allow yourself to show up to serve to share to shine to be here to be present 
and to let go of the past, what you're doing is saying, so I made some mistakes, but I am still willing to correct them. I am willing to make a new choice. I am willing to choose again. So I've shared with you four ways to really start to cultivate a self-love plan. And if you want to know more, I'm going to invite you very soon to join my very, very special eight-week um, you know, intensive retreat of the self-love plan, and that'll be coming up very soon for the new year. However, again, the first is spiritual practice. Have a spiritual practice. Do not sway from that. Do what it says. No matter, for me, it's, of course, a miracle, science of mind, nature. Again, my spiritual practice is connecting to my beloved nature every day. That's why I love to live at the beach. And then, you know, number two. Number two is, again, I mean, that is number two, practice. Number three is discover more of you. Allow yourself to be who you want to be. And then number four, beloved, listen. Stop trying to out-talk spirit and just listen. I'm sending you so much love and light. Happy Wednesday. This is your weekly love medicine. Come back every single Wednesday at 1030 and get your, your weekly dose, the salve for your soul, right here with me. So I'm sending you so much love and light. Happy holy days. Happy full moon. And abracadabra, beloveds. Until next time, peace and blessings.